hello guys welcome to our youtube tutorial so in this tutorial you are going to learn how can you set up data base mail configuration by using t sql commands you have to understand what is a uh, database uh, mail configuration so database mail is the most useful feature in sql server which allows us to send email through the database this feature can be used in reporting services, integration services, your application services and if you want to take your email logs or your database logs then you can easily schedule these email alerts by the help of SQL Server agent. Okay, so in this tutorial you are going to learn how to enable and configure database mails in SQL Server by using T SQL codes without using database mail configuration wizard. So guys, please stay tuned with this video and uh, let's focus how can we set up these database mail configurations. So let's move to our SQL Server environment. So there are some uh, around six steps to set up these database mail configuration. So first of all, enable the database mail feature. Then you have to create a profile for database mail. And the third one, define the default profile which is going to be used to send the emails to the end user your business user, your analytics user, then you have to add an email account with SMTP server details. And after doing this, we are going to add this account to the profile. Okay, then we are going to do a testing how this feature is going to be activated and it is going to be uh, sent an email to the users. Let's move to the SQL Server environment. Okay. So this is our first step. First of all, we are going to use master database and in this database, we are going to run some configurations. So in this step, we are going to enable database mail standard. So here you can see what we are going to do. We are going to call a SV con configure and so advanced option. Then we are going to reconfigure with override. And then we are going to enable this feature SP configure database mails XPS. Set one. Okay, so execute this feature, this command. Okay, now after doing this, we are going to move to the step number two. So in this uh, step we are going to create a profile name and we are going to define the description of this so here i have already created a profile name dba notifications so i am going to change it as a dba hyphen notifications so to do this i am going to call a store procedure that is sysmail at profile sp sp stand for store procedures and then execute this Okay, now after creating this, we are going to step number three. So first of all, we are going to create a step number three. Okay, so I have already created a profile name DBA notifications. And uh, so I am going to create a new uh, DBA profile for this demo. Okay, so here we are going to call a another store procedure that is sysmail add principal profile sp okay and this is the profile name that is dba hyphen notifications and the principal name is public there are two type of principal uh, public and private and is default equal to one then execute this statement so this is the fourth step of this uh, configuration so in this step we are going to create an account so here first of all you have to create a account name 
सो हेयर आई एम यूजिंग एस क्यू एल हाइफन नोटिफिकेशन देन डिस्क्रिप्शन इफ यू वॉन्ट टू चेंज इट देन यू कैन चेंज इट सो आई एम गोइंग टू मेक सम चेंजेज ओवर हेयर एंड द ई मेल एड्रेस विच इज गोइंग टू बी यूज टू सेंड एन अलर्ट देन द डिस्प्ले नेम इफ यू वॉन्ट टू चेंज इट यू कैन चेंज इट एंड रिप्लाई टू एड्रेस सो आई एम पासिंग माई जी मेल आई डी डेट इज एस पी डॉट मुकेश वन सेवन अलेवन एट द रेट जी मेल डॉट कॉम बिकॉज आई आई एम यूजिंग मेल सेवर फ्रॉम द गूगल सो आई एम पासिंग एस एम टी पी डॉट जी मेल डॉट कॉम एंड द पोर्ट बाई डिफॉल्ट पोर्ट इज ट्वेंटी फाइव but uh, if you are using uh, google uh, mail server then you can pass 587 then enable ssl equal to 1 username and then password okay and how can you get your uh, api api password from google you can watch our previous video where we have uh, you know uh, defined these steps okay and then use default credential equal to 0 if i am passing uh, equal to 1 then they no need to pass this username and password okay uh, let's execute this statement okay now we have created the profile we have created the account now our fifth step uh, uh, is going to make a relation between account and profile okay so i am going to my fifth step so here i am uh, using a already existing uh, store procedure this mail add profile account sp so you can see the name of add account profile account so the profile name is dba hyphen notifications and the account name is uh, sql hyphen notifications okay and sequence number equal to 1 so we are going to execute this statement as well now we have done all the necessary steps from 1 to 5 okay now we are going to test this uh, functionality so i am going to my step number 6 okay so here uh, i am using my profile name uh, that is dba hyphen notifications so i am going to make a change okay so dba notifications okay and congrats dba mail received by you okay successfully okay thanks okay now we are going to execute this uh, statement and then let's check our emails in my account my gmail account that is this and i'm going to refresh this so here you can see the notification as well that is db noti uh, notification message and system support name is coming from the account and uh, this is the address we have passed to receive uh, the emails and then this is the sender so here uh, you can see it is very easy uh, to enable your database mail configurations by using the sql statements please uh, like share and comment and don't forget to subscribe our youtube channel